welcome to the podcast everybody this is source to screen a podcast where we compare source material to the live action adaption oh that's good rhyme <laughs> oh that, is it was that a little rap <laughs> a little flow from the gamer complainer yes i found out a cool word today do you know what that word is what is it fidelity do you know what it means Besides the fact that I told you a hundred times before this you podcast. You should tell the listeners the definition. Oh. So, fidelity means one's accuracy to the source material. So, you could say that new It movies, fidelity to the original Stephen King novel, was pretty well Why are you done. so excited about the word fidelity? I don't know. I like it. <laughs> it makes me sound fancy. What about infidelity? Not as, not as not I mean, as the wife is it. the source material, so I, I guess you're okay. comparing. Anyway, <laughs> um, all right, let's get into it. We're talking about Wonder Woman. The movie came out 2017 or 16. What year? 17. Came out this year. We, we saw, saw it, it a couple times. No, I saw it a couple times. Oh well, 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 I you saw, saw it at the drive-in with you for a minute. That didn't count. It's, okay, that doesn't count. All right, I've seen it twice. It's a drive-in. You know what people do at drive-ins? Anywho, they do it. They watch the movie It by yeah. Stephen King. That's what they do. Anywho. Um, ba, 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 ba. Okay. Expectations. I had none. How about you? I thought it was going to suck. I would actually I'm 100% was really afraid of that. Serious. Yeah. I mean, DC hasn't been on their game with their recent movies. So really? I, yeah. Even Man of Steel wasn't that bad. But ever since that, everything's been I didn't tanking. hate that. And I actually want to explore that at some point in the future. But... For now, what did you think you were going to see? Like, what did you expect? I thought there would be more um, DC char- DC, um, sorry, heroes or more of the Justice League in it. Like a tie-in or something? Yeah, kind of like Batman versus Superman where there's just kind of a bunch of people like floating in here and there. But it wasn't at all. There was only... The, the letter from Batman. He's yeah. like, hey. Got the hots for Wonder Woman. I totally ship it. But it I is don't. shipped already. It's, is it? Is yeah, it? You think the, so? It's in the comics, but it, I just think it seems odd. He's researching her. Oh yeah, that he's much. like <laughs> he's Facebook stalking her. Yeah. He's like, I found this hey, one photo you of at? you. <laughs> this one photo. DTF sliding mm-hmm. in those DMs. Basically, he's being a little too nice. Uh huh. Um, and I also thought uh, the villain was going to be different. We'll talk about the villain a little bit later. But oh, because I didn't a think it'd be spoiler. Aries. Yeah. And <sighs> spoiler. I mean, I said it before you said it, but goddamn, man, that was like two seconds. <laughs> uh, so, spoilers for the movie that already came out and everyone loved. Um, yeah, I expected the same thing. I actually thought the villain was going to be like Randall Savage or a cosmic entity. I mean, Ares is pretty big, but or I was expecting something to in tie general. it in. To Dark Justice Side League. or someone or something like that. Yeah. There's nothing else coming out between this and Justice League, right? Because um, Justice League comes out in like November, right? I think so. Huh. Yeah, I don't think anything is coming in between. Then the Flash movies coming out soon. That's after. Yeah, that's after. So this, is, so this is the last. This is their final note, if you will. Aquaman isn't coming out this year, right? No, 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 no. no. It's after too. I think this is the next that's one. That's weird. Even the Batman one. It's like if they started with the Avengers and they just made like I think Iron it could have worked, but it didn't the way they did it, no. which we will talk about. I think Man of Steel. I mean, no. Batman vs. Superman could have worked as a film. Oh, absolutely. But they funked that shit up. They funked, they funked that shit up. But that, that was basically it I expected. I just I went in this movie blind. Um, maybe we should let the readers know. Have you... Listeners. Readers, listeners, all the same. Uh, have you read a lot of Wonder Woman comics before this? Absolutely not. I thought that they would be lame, but I was pleasantly surprised. He's actually really cool. Same with myself. You've read a couple more than myself i believe you were more the yeah DC. but nothing like more tie-ins just more, than anything. yeah just more her relation to other characters that i like i mm-hmm. never really got into her actual origin or um her own little storyline that she has she's, she's actually very solo for yeah. all most of the stuff that we researched no she's a really cool character that i've i've come to find out she's like the oh, virtues oh, oh, oh. of captain well America. expectations okay so okay. we'll save that for later okay fine all right all right. Uh, expected to be bad. Was not actually that bad. It's like a like a seven or. Well, 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 we're getting into our review. Don't you think we should take a break first? 
Well, do you have any other expectations? What did you expect from Gal Gadot? She looked buffer in photos than she did in her outfit. So I was hoping she was yeah, a she little buffer. Like, like it's this not is that a, she's not in shape, but she looks like kind of skinny. Um, which is fine. I mean, it's not it's not the biggest problem. Um, other than that, I thought she did really well. Uh, you know portrayal i think there was some character directions i didn't love but other than that it was pretty good but yeah seeing gal gadot carry a tank is kind of like mm. like even seeing like like chris evans or have chris or yeah helmsworth you know when they like lift shit or throw stuff i'm like okay the helicopter, maybe not. In Captain yeah, America. she doesn't have like buff arms or anything. Like, I got some which, buff arms. Which well, she she exercised a lot, and apparently she was like a real soldier or something. So I don't know. There's some stuff there, but <coughs> we'll get back to that. We're gonna take a little quick break, and then we'll get into our review of the movie Wonder Woman 2017, directed by Patty Jenkins. Give me a second. we are about to say is our opinions opinions differ from each person i mean we're obviously correct but you know i mean oh, come on man <laughs> everyone's different everyone has their own way of looking at stuff so feel free to let us know what you think but you know you're probably wrong so it's fun just be polite <laughs> like our great host <laughs> game of i mean everyone has an opinion and they're they feel right in their opinion so oh. otherwise they wouldn't have one fair enough so, my review. The best parts are in the beginning. I, think so? Yeah, I think the best parts are Themyscira, the mythos, the story, her background, her drive. Um, the characters are really great, in my opinion. Some weird story moments, and the, the worst things that it does... Are is is like when it plays it too safe when it's copying Captain America, which I'll I'll go into a segment of how it copies so much from the Captain America movie, not the comics, but the movie alone, and that's unnecessary. If it just didn't have those parts, the movie would have worked a lot better, in my opinion. But what's weird, which we'll talk about later, is it's actually really accurate to her origin. In a lot I of ways, I think it's yeah. more just a well. It's slightly coincidental that well, it no. is similar in a no, way. No, yeah, and I mean, I do understand the origin, but there's some things I'm like. You and we'll didn't talk have to about the comparison between her and Captain America because they actually are very similar, similar yeah, in a lot of ways. Um, so, um, I thought there was a lot of cool character direction in in terms of development, um, and I hope that continues. So, in in future films, uh, I thought uh aries is plan i like the way usually he gains power from men being corrupt and fighting the more they fight the more powerful of a god he becomes so he literally thrives off war but in this one he uses it as like a, a rhetoric he's like yo i don't i don't even make these guys do it i just tell them stuff and they do it by themselves he's more of an enabler than he is like a progressive pusher yeah he doesn't force people into violence for his own gain because yeah. he knows they're all they're already be violent he's like i'm not doing shit they're doing this on their own pretty much and i thought uh, that he's was just a good throwing, choice yeah he's just throwing the tools in there surprise for them me. to use and i was worried i didn't know where the film was going for the most part i i thought we were gonna go see aries like, like it mentioned it but i thought it was gonna do the whole i was worried the one thing i didn't like it was too grounded and i think wonder woman works better is kind of like a ancient greek goddess you know as opposed to superhero i think i like the superhero aspect and it's a big part of her well i think I it's like just a lead in yeah. to justice league Basically. to make her super grounded but uh what else did you like 
Uh, I thought it was funny and not like Suicide Squad take me out of the moment funny. Like, I think Chris Pine was an excellent Steve Trevor. We've read a couple comics with Steve Trevor and... They're trash. I, I, they're really trash and I don't like them. I think his character's pointless and is legitimately a Captain America ripped off. Rip off. Just 100%. But that's fine. Uh, he has a purpose. Uh, the choreography... Was really worried about that. Suicide Squad sucked. Batman vs Superman was, but well, the Batman fight was cool. But other than that, not great. And then the TV spots, it didn't look great. But um, I loved it. I thought it was amazing. I, when I saw Wonder Woman kicking ass, I'm like, yeah, she, she, she's kicking ass. And I wish some like Jessica Jones could see that kind of choreography because Wonder Woman's just kicking ass and taking names. And I'm like, what's the point of Batman or like Superman? Like, in their films, their action was way less compelling than this. I was Yeah, like, it is weird how that worked out, actually. Yeah. And and the director even said that. She was like, well, Wonder Woman's the best fighter in the DC universe. And I was like, She's huh. built to be that way. Well, she, yeah, I was that's thinking, why she's I'm created. like, Superman's more powerful and Batman's more trained. But I think Wonder Woman has the best combination, which makes her more dangerous than both of them, I'd argue. I don't know. That was just me. And what I didn't like, the accents. Some people were Russian. Some people were uh, Greek. Um, whatever her name is. Frank. Um, what's his name? The House of Cards. Frank Underwood's wife, Claire. Oh, yeah. Uh, I know what you're talking about. She's in The Princess Bride. Um, the God Killer origin wasn't a twist I really cared for. It was like, you are the God Killer. There's some... Don't do dislikes. We're only doing likes right now. Oh. Well, it's my review. No, we're doing likes. So okay. No okay, okay, okay. So that was that. Those are the pros, in my opinion. What about you? Uh, I like the humor a lot, especially in the beginning. Mm-hmm. Um, I thought Steve Trevor was really... He was good. He fit. He... I liked how he acted normal. He wasn't like so jaded by, or sorry, not jaded by the um, all the women. Yeah, yeah. And he's like, "I I got a job to do. That's what I'm worried about. You know, I'm just trying to get out of here and figure shit out for myself." And he wasn't like, "Ooh, women." Uh. Is that serious island more grounded or less grounded? Because I I don't think I would have come back. I don't think I would have come Most back. Most dudes probably wouldn't have come back. Yeah, I'm just saying. Um, so he was fun. Uh, he was a good um, companion for Gal Gadot, I think. Because he, by the end of the movie, he was telling her, like, yo, you know, it's it's not only about people being pure. That's just not how our world works. Like, he's like, I don't know why people fight. I, I don't know, but that doesn't mean I'm going to stop fighting for them just because... People suck. Some there people are good suck, people yeah. in the world. One bad apple doesn't ruin them all. Although exactly. the saying is the opposite. Um, yeah, I just think those character directions were kind of interesting. Like he's because he's her connection to the Earth. humanity. That's basically his whole. main purpose yeah. in the comics. But I think it works better in the movie than it does in the comics. Yeah. As just from the movie perspective, I liked her costume for the most part. I just hate what DC's doing with all the costumes and making them like super desaturated and dark looking. Like even Flash's costume is supposed to be like bright red. It's like this dark brick Scarlet, red. Yeah. yeah. It doesn't look right and it looks like shiny or Superman's suit looks like a fucking wetsuit. It just looks awful i personally love batman's suit but i do understand that it only kind of works for him everyone else is supposed to be bright colored and symbols of hope bat i like fat bat i hate it it's not man on batman batman's supposed to be sleek and smart and cat-like and bat-like a bat is not that fucking fat it's it's a symbol yeah it's supposed to be a symbol of sleekness not a symbol of fatness he's like i'm old Fair enough. So, um, story progression for the most part, I enjoyed. I liked the twist with Aries at the end because I thought it was going to pull a DC and not satisfy the ending or just be random. Mm-hmm. I was afraid of that for a minute, too. Yeah. Or, like, it would have been underwhelming if they had just made that German. Um, Ludendorff. Yeah. If they had just made him Aries and then that was the end of the movie, I'd be like, well, that was lame. 
but then they had that little slight twist yeah. and then Ares had better points for why he was doing what he was doing and i liked how even he was trying to like start peace amongst men and he's like you guys obviously don't want peace so don't have it then just go to war yeah so that was cool um it felt very comic booky to a point yeah which helped i don't think the other dc movies feel comic booky they just feel like they Not were made by comic booky no it feels like they were just made by producers that are like the kids love this mm. too many harley quinn outfits at uh not hollister what is it called hot topic hot topic thank you uh i also think that's probably um it's probably a whole didn't have too many cooks in the kitchen type of writing i think yeah. they didn't think it would work so they're just like whatever which is another thing because the some of the cgi is not very good oh yeah that's what that word is cgi well, I put effects, but it looks like Erex. I'm like, why don't I like Erex? Anywho, so do you want to get into what we didn't like about the movie? Uh, also, the acting was pretty good. So, into our dislikes. Okay, you want to start us off? Uh, sure. Let me just get my notes here. Dislikes. It was kind of long. Two and a half hours is a bit long. I think Captain America was long, too, though. I don't mind, you know, necessarily a long movie, but I mean, yeah, I mean, that can. There were drag. some points where it dragged, it dragged. for sure. Mm -hmm. And it was like, I didn't know, like you said, I didn't know where the movie was going at some parts. And um, I was going to say, I wish it would have chosen one location or we'd come back to Paradise Island Yeah. at some point. I'm like... Why why'd we leave? We we just got here. I like it here. Yeah, it was kind of a cool area, atmosphere, and of course she has to spread her wings, but I, I always thought she's like, You may never return. I thought she was saying you can't come back. I'm like, wait, she no. either stays or she can never come back. But I, I think feel she like she was just trying to scare her the whole time into not ah, going. Okay, yeah, that makes more sense. Like you may not be able to come back. But yeah, so not, like, don't leave. Welcome. And she's got like it. No, I'm good. I got sword. I got all this shit, and I'm okay. Uh huh. Oh, that was a big dislike. <laughs> I was so confused. So the twist is the God Killer is Wonder Woman. So did they make that outfit, that sword, and that shield? And we're like, oh, these are the God Killer items as like a decoy or a ploy, or like, were they actually like good items? But they yeah. weren't because Ares was just like, Pfft. yeah, that, that that sword sucked. <laughs> it's like that's the god killer so someone just put a sword in this like 400 hundred dollar environment and like yeah that's a that's, that's a that's a really good sword <laughs> pretty much yeah i just don't buy that that just doesn't make sense yeah that, <laughs> that doesn't happen in the comics either her <laughs> no, her all. outfit and all her gear and weapons actually it makes a lot are more good sense. yeah and they're all like specific features mm -hmm. given by gods except the lasso the lasso was the only thing that worked was... against Ares. Oh, yeah, that was kind of good. Mm. But that's created by Artemis? Uh, we, we can get to that a little later. Um, another dislike. I didn't like... Uh, this isn't Gal Gadot's fault, but it's just writing. Wonder Woman just acted stupid at times, or mm -hmm. just Too super naive. naive. And I'm like, what? this? You're saying, I know a hundred languages, but she doesn't have like normal social skills, and she's just like ditzy when she gets to london and then there was that stupid clothes dressing scene and i'm like that's come on man i think it had an it's, opposite effect it's a woman with a clothes dressing scene and i'm like <sighs> i think there would be like she's so not ladylike but, but i'm like i didn't get but that. you still put it in the movie so yeah. it's obviously a big selling point i don't know i think i feel like they put effect. that in there for women because my mom thought it was funny oh i'm sure and she's kind of like the British woman yeah. in the in the what's her name? She's very sarcastic. So her name was Etta Candy, who is a character, but I didn't look up anything about her because she sounded boring. No, because we always do research for the show, and we know a lot about what we're talking about. I mean, we did. I probably read the most <laughs> comics for this this specific episode. That's why it, it took was so rough. damn long. We it actually was bought comics. We don't do that. We just you know we usually read them on apps and yeah whatnot. we just read them casually but this we one went we to a comic read. store we did went to go to a comic store this time did not what was them. the comic store called that we went to i actually forget 
fuck. <laughs> it was Infinity Comics. It's in the Simi Valley Mall. We'll give them a the, the mall that no one goes to. So you're good. They they got a lot of comics there. They are actually really good comics. They're across from the Apple Store. Well, for a week. Yeah. They're by a uh, studio movie grill in Simi Valley, yeah, yeah, yeah. California. Uh, All right. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, some of the characters, which you agree, we had a good laugh about it, acted over the top at mm-hmm. times. <laughs> Ludendorffin well, Glauben Glubin I wanna, I wanna lost take a minute his for him. shit. No, I want to take a minute for that later. Okay. Uh, we'll save that. But some of the villains were a little overhyped and mm-hmm. didn't make sense. Just their motivation was just like, what the fuck's wrong with you? But it seemed like he was just on a fucking cocaine binge. So <laughs> he, he just wasn't acting right. Powers, yeah. <laughs> Ludendorff, by the way, is, I was looking it up. I thought, I was like, man, I don't know if it's a real villain. It's not. He's a real guy. Ludendorff was a German general who fought for a total war policy and basically destroyed a bunch of German cities because he made them starve, ruined the economy, and it was a, such an embarrassment to the kaiser that he basically erased all records this is his first film debut this is the first time this character has been seen in a movie and he was a real guy he existed so i thought that was weird it was, it was pretty cool. nuts yeah it's like an assassin's creed so, one woman killed a real figure is red skull real maybe they got rid of all his no red skull's not weird He's johann real. schmidt is not real he might be they might have um, just gotten rid of all his records i might go into those cons now that we brought it up so all right wait 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 oh those are my cons but I'm, we're switching off. Okay, fine. You go. It was a lot like Captain America 1, mm-hmm. which got annoying at times. But I think that's more of a coincidence than okay. something that's done on purpose. And I didn't like, at the end, how she saved the doctor. But she killed a bunch of fucking German foot soldiers. soldiers. They're probably just like, this Being is my kids. job. <laughs> you know, I was recruited for... The military, or drafted, sorry, for the military. This doctor is making fucking mustard gas. Kill this bitch. Yeah, killing thousands of people. So I argued with a couple people. One woman said she she didn't kill her because a man told her to. I'm like, I don't that think is that- the <laughs> dumbest thing I've ever heard. I'm like, I don't think that's the message. She's not lying. I'm sorry stubborn. to whoever said that, but that is the dumbest thing I've probably ever heard. <laughs> where where would you get that idea? Feminism. Also, when did a man tell her not to kill her? Ares. And he's like, Ares kill said her. kill her. I know. And she's like, I won't. And she threw the tank. That is so stupid. <laughs> Another colleague of mine who's a big fan of the show. Um, long story short, we were talking and it's more the fact that she was a victim of war. Like when the mask peels off, it's just like killing her doesn't provide anything. It just creates more hate and you can't beat hate with hate you could well she did still beat the shit out of Ares, but that's beside the point she also killed all those foot soldiers and yep. stabbed lewd endorphin glob and Glubin. yeah but the doctor survived maybe it's because the she's doctor a woman. was the worst person yeah she killed the mo well i don't know ludendorff was just kind of an idiot He's just, cocaine is a hell of Co- a drug cocaine is a hell of a drug it takes superhero cocaine oh yeah and- I, I didn't like how she saved the doctor i feel like I could argue she saved the doctor because she was a woman. I hope not. That doesn't sound like a great argument. She only killed men in the movie. That's a good point. Didn't kill it. Well, they weren't German women soldiers. Still. Oh, he was also striker in X Men Origins. So yeah. After World War One, after he gets stabbed, he, he goes and starts the Weapon X a... program. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, funny. That's a good actor. I, I, I met him. He's yeah, he's really good nice. Uh oh. And Telepi dies. I, I'd pronounce that so wrong. Claire Underwood dies. Like this badass soldier gets killed. I didn't really like that when the, all the soldiers kill the Themyscirian Amazon women. Yeah, it didn't make any sense. They're supposed to be women of the gods, like amazing fighters and whatnot. And they just jump the fuck down. Off the cliff. I'm like, why yeah. don't you just stay on the cliff and shoot arrows? You were killing most of them that way. And they just got on the ground and kept shooting arrows. I'm like... You had the high ground. What They're are like, you doing? Now's our chance to be badass. <laughs> and that one soldier who shot the girl swinging on a rope is the most accurate soldier. He's and probably like, a promotion. Oh, holy Did shit. Did you guys see guys, that? You see that shit? <laughs> I got her. Um, yeah, I just didn't like that. And most of them had shields, so I don't know why they didn't use those. I just thought the Amazons could like slaughter a little more. But it was whatever. It was character direction. I'd, I hope that if another attack happens, they're a little 
better prepared. She was badass, though. She was! That's why I was like, man, she's doing these arrow flips and, like, spinning like, on the ground. I'm like, how did she fucking die? Get, it's, she carried her whole team and then got shot Call by a noob. Duty style. And that's because Wonder Woman was being naive and, like, looking at Steve or something. <laughs> what was she doing? I don't remember. She's just standing there looking at the beach. Yeah. She's like, <laughs> she was looking the wrong direction. She's so, totally, like, in Call of Duty when someone's just, like, not fucking playing. standing there. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, or when you dumb. when you play for honor and someone's hiding in the bushes just yeah. like chilling <laughs> accents were really bad in my opinion too her accent was bad they were all over the place yeah. i'm like are you guys fucking danish or scottish. israeli <laughs> scottish what can you make a decision here yeah Those but the they were things. they were really badass yeah. i think uh, I, good I wish she hadn't had died. I wish they had changed the storyline more like she got injured or something and maybe they needed help. Yeah, I think her death was supposed to drive Wonder Woman off the island, but I don't think it works as well as they thought it did. And maybe she's like, yo, if this movie sucks, I don't want to come back and do two more. No. <laughs> so, just yeah. in case. Yeah, just like she comes back halfway through shooting, gets the Suicide Squad reviews. Kill me. <laughs> what kill me now <laughs> kill me can i get into the captain america copycat stuff yeah okay so there's a couple things here one we you brought up ludendorff loses his shit for no reason mm. he kind of has a superhero super soldier thing that's kind of like captain america and that's there's a lot of this you know world war one super sci-fi tech like the the biplane and the, the mustard gas that goes through gas mass there's like a lot of hi-fi tech stuff which is fine very comic booky but the way the characters act and there's a lot of scenes that i really don't see them having any reason for putting forward so example one in captain america one uh red skull comes back to his factory sees everyone's destroyed everyone's dead and this guy goes we fought to the last man and he goes like obviously not you're still alive dumbass and shoots him makes sense he's upset about the failure ludendorff <laughs> i'm sorry i still laugh at this it's it makes a great no scene it is a great scene this guy goes hey ludendorff um no one's he's like we need a, the weapon facilities ready for tonight and he's like um no one's eaten or slept in five days he's like you think i've slept it's like no i get that but if we're gonna do our job we really need to do this and he's like that's like a high commanding officer this isn't just some dude working a factory and he's like trying to give him status updates and you know give him information and he's like i will not accept failure then shoots him i'm like <laughs> you that's a really bad turn on your investment you just shot one of your lieutenants for no After reason they were just walking and talking and he's like i need you to do this and this and this <laughs> but well you can never expect an attack to happen and he just <laughs> shoots shoots him. Him. <laughs> you should always be ready from me <laughs> I wonder what the other the other soldiers thought. They're Look, just like, I'm getting the fuck out of here. I'm done. What just happened? And that was a real guy. Apparently, he did stuff like that. Pretty pretty on the regular. So that I part swear was that stupid. dude's probably doing cocaine in real life. <laughs> the superhero cocaine. See, that's what I didn't like. As I was like, okay, they're making him give him superhero po cocaine so he could fight Wonder Woman. I'm like, no. <laughs> he just like snorts this. Blue yeah, that stuff didn't work. He's like, oh, he also kills all his enemies like all right so red skull kills all his um fellow third reich nazis by putting him in a room with the high-tech weapon and shooting them with a laser um Lindor. and he does the same thing yeah. but with a gas grenade and he's like they don't know the gas mask works and i'm like okay he just like locks him in a room and gasses them all to death and i'm like that's he's very like childish coke addict right where's his character He's going like, they don't know that these masks don't work i'm like was that necessary he already fucking put the mustard gas also on isn't it supposed to kill him instantly so they probably won't even reach the gas mask he like threw it like right in the door then locked the door maybe that was her first batch or something okay i guess so how are we supposed to know well. that <laughs> but i don't know fair I'm, enough. Ju I'm just making leaps um the what is it called uh the commandos in um man i forget their name all of a sudden and captain america are just equated with the odd fellows in this which they're pretty accurate to their comic counterparts you know there's just a couple the charlie the sniper who never shoots around not only does he not kill anyone but he never fires no, around yeah, in the movie he never shoots anyone in the entire movie the most accurate sniper in the world doesn't shoot a single person like at all but he runs out of bullets he's like i need bullets I need bullets because I'm Scottish. Though, and they enjoy that. 
Man, They're, if I hired a like, sniper and he started singing, I'd be so pissed. She's like, but who will sing with us? He's like, oh, I can sing, though. I might not shoot people. This bitch wants me to sing. I'm down. Which I understand he had PTSD, I think, a little bit, or panic attacks. Um, it was PTSD. Yeah, yeah. So that, that's that's kind of a cool character And he was an alcoholic. Man, this character is really deep. Probably the most deep character in this movie. Um, but I don't know. I just personally thought that was kind of funny. I'm like, you, you, you hire a sniper who literally can't fire off a single round. Um... <laughs> There's the, let's see, what's there? The super weapon by science or sci-fi. The bar scene where they literally hire all these rugged bar guys in a bar. That's very Captain America. There was just like six of these things that all come together. And I honestly just think they didn't really tie that much into the origin. It just feels like Captain America 1, which, by the way, I yeah, love Captain like, America 1. We need a team. Yeah, we the, the whole we need a team assemble. situation. If she just said, odd fellows assemble, I'd have been like, ah, I'm fucking out. Well, I'm what's leaving. funny is like, that wasn't even on her. She's just following Steve Trevor around. And he's like, oh, I need some people. And she's like, these are your people. Yeah. <laughs> she was like not impressed. Also, which by the way, Steve Trevor is a, cr- a created character supposed to be parroting Steve Rogers. Oh, but he is Kevin. in the, uh, he is in the, the original Ronder, comics. He is a comic Ronder character, Ronder. but he's definitely like, um, a parody of that. Yeah. yeah. You know, is, same I mean, exact looks, you know, Chris Pine, Chris Evans. There's so many Chris's. Too they even many. made it a Chris to copy. That would be crazy if Chris Pine was Bucky. Then we'd have two Chris's in in as both buddies. universes. Yeah, that'd be that'd be really interesting. All the Avengers are like, this is confusing. <laughs> but that was it for that. Those are my pros. Those are my cons. How about you? Uh, that's pretty much it for me for pros and cons. Right. Um, I think there was something else you said, but I forgot. So we can move on. Sure uh bu- 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 oh the special effects really bad like really at bad. time especially in the beginning like in the best part of the movie yeah when like the little girl jumps off the cliff and then like everything's super high def and she's just like looking directly in the yeah, camera it's, it's clearly cgi the lighting like doesn't match and just i liked aries armor that fight was really cool but well, it still looks like pretty his, bad uh, mary poppins get oh my god that that really bugged me it didn't look as bad the second time I watched it, but the first time I watched it, you just see this British guy floating around, shooting lightning, and Sherlock I'm like, Sherlock Holmes is like, oh, <laughs> I'm just this is this um, Alvis Dumbledore being like, pip pip cheerio, and <laughs> throwing lightning bolts. I'm like, oh my, oh Professor Lupin, that's what I meant to say, not Dumbledore. Although there is this uh, com- Wonder Woman comic I read where it looks like uh, Gandalf. 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 It's some Greek god, but he literally looks like Gandalf and has the white stick Sharon and robe. Sharon or something. Sharon, yeah. <laughs> and I'm just like, man, you look like Gandalf. And he's yes. literally in hell, so I think that was funny. Um, so, time to get into the comic comparisons. What did you think this took the most from? Surprisingly, it took a lot from the comics, especially in the origin. Um, the whole Steve Trevor thing is in the original um uh some of the changes are there's more backstory that they just sort of skipped over which is basically well they kind of showed it when they did like a montage which yeah. i thought that looked cool as fuck which montage like when they had the the moving type of picture of all the gods fighting oh that was actually that really so good cool. i wanted more of that yeah <laughs> they reminded me of that shitty movie that kind of looked like 300 um mm. it actually had henry cavill Superman oh like olympus rising no 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 i know what you're thinking of i know the movie yeah he's, he has a bow and arrow and shit. Yeah, yeah 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 i've seen the movie there's a good fight scene at the end of that movie the rest of the movie sucks but that's similar to what it looked like it looked mm. like a painting but um so basically the origin of wonder woman is um her mother um is sort of recruited by aphrodite to fight Ares because the gods of course are conflicting with one another Ares and Aphrodite are trying to decide who should rule the earth should it be man with violence or should it be women with love so she recruits hip hip hippopotamus hippopotamus hip-hop anonymous hip-hop anonymous to fight Ares army which is led by Hercules and she wins but then she gets seduced by Hercules and she fucks up so she goes back to aphrodite to get more power and she's like so you fucked up you're gonna wear these braces to show that you can't ever be seduced by a man again don't do it don't fall for it y'all gonna fall for it anyway but remember you got the braces so she gave her the braces 
And um, after that, uh, she beats them again. And then Diana is created. She, she uh, Her mom makes her out of clay and Aphrodite gives her life. And mm-hmm. that is in the very first Wonder Woman issue ever. Yeah. If you want to see a more timely update, I was reading basically the same story. Slight character changes because the Amazons are birthed from a well that's made of like lost innocent souls that come out of the ocean which is also seen in the movie they the amazon women come from the ocean yeah and apolita is the only soul that was pregnant and that's why she gets to make um wonder Diana. woman yeah that's why because she was the only soul that was pregnant and i'm like oh that's kind of interesting so she makes her out of clay but kind of gives birth to her honestly the comic didn't really explain that anatomically yeah, correct it's kind of weird mm-hmm. it's kind of confusing yeah that's by george perez it was a run in the 1980s it's a little i think the artwork's a little better than what you had yeah, but if yeah, you like yeah. if you like some vintage comics it definitely looks nice either or you know they both work out really well but i love all all of that type of jazz it's kind of like thor in a yeah. way with um the whole greek gods norse and, mythology yeah, yeah all that melodrama that happens with um it's so rich it is it's really interesting and i like that I like her storylines when she's not with the Justice League. Yeah, I it's think more it's interesting cool when she's just by she, herself. Yeah, yeah. I think I think it's cool to pull her aside and have her do these other things, but it's always cool to see her backstory. Like I've, I have some potential villains I might want to see in the future that I've seen, and and uh, she's stuff so like much that. more powerful than the Justice League, so it almost seems silly because she fights like gods. Yeah, and she fights all kinds of gods, not even just Greek gods. She fights like indian gods and just gods from every religion which kind of makes this the her storylines more interesting in that way ties it all in they, yeah they touch on other religions and not just the one that she's a part of yeah. it's a whole universe that's connected with one another i think it's interesting that marvel also has a hercules and they look the same hmm. like they're just i wonder if it's I the think same they, they hercules. just do that it's like I, you're not copywritten it's like deadpool and what's his face um Cable? No, no, no no death death stroke yeah death stroke they're just very similar yeah they Makes just sense. made a joke version of Death Doctor Street. Strange, Doctor Fate, all that stuff. Um, oh yeah. By the way, I think. What do you think? Did you think the artwork took after anything? Like, would out of all the comics you read, would you say there's any art that was kind of inspired by the movie? Because I would say the George Perez one, with all the Greek takebacks, I think that kind of worked a little bit. Uh, the artwork was done by Len Wern and Bruce Patterson. I think uh, uh, Len was the penciler and Bruce Patterson well, was the, the thing colorist. Ab- the thing about her is she has so many different Incarnations, cost- variations yeah. of her costume. Every single one I've read, they're, none of them are the same. Everyone has their own version of her, which is costume. fine. But it's like, I don't know which one to choose because I'm just like, oh, there's another one. There's a mm. new one. Like Batman stays relatively the same for like a decent amount of time. Yeah. They don't change them too much. Unless it's like an off-world story or a very specific Fake suit point that they're in designing. time, yeah, yeah, they got like a suit to beat mm-hmm. Superman. Or... But like even in this one that I read, Wonder Woman Vengeance, she has a fuck. She's got like wings and shit, a and she's suit. yeah, it's pretty yeah. cool. It looks dope, but I'm like, oh, well, every costume just keeps changing. Cool she's got a lot of variations in her costume. I think the one that it actually took from the most was this Wonder Woman Blood comic. And I'll find out who the artist was, but I couldn't even find it. I couldn't buy it or anything, but it's a really cool comic that I think really emphasizes Wonder Woman is a staple of feminism and women power. So it's really important that they nail that. And I think in the movie, they did a pretty good job. Um, During the time period, obviously, there was some major sexism going on. I think they fought against it pretty well in the movie, but um, some comics don't do it as well, in my opinion. Oh, absolutely. Uh, when we were reading the Steve Trevor comic, because honestly, we don't know that much about Steve Trevor, and everything we read is just kind of generic, boring, military guy, basically Captain America without a cool shield or <laughs> costume powers. or powers, or even charisma, really. But in this comic, it's really bad. Can I go into it real quick? Yeah, we can. This is this is trash. It's almost as bad as Rocket Raccoon fighting a clown. Almost as bad. If not worse. It's, it's up there. So... Steve Trevor goes and finds uh, this secret organization called the Menist. So the opposite of a feminist is a Menist. Meninist. Meninist, sorry. Meninist. And they, they have an XY chromosome uniform. And oh they come to this facility, which is like a weapons chemical facility. And they're like, we hear you have a chemical that make women subservient to men. I'm like, 
What weapons researcher would look it's in into Star that? It's in Star Labs. Why the fuck would Star Labs have that? <laughs> it's so stupid. So then Steve Trevor busts in. He's like, not on my watch, gentlemen. Bang, 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 bang. And he's like, like shooting. They're all fighting. And then I don't know how what happens. Wonder Woman bursts in. Is like, you started without me again. There's like a bunch <laughs> of sexual innuendos. And she's like, now I have to fight this giant phallical monster. Which By looks way, like carnage mixed with like a dick. It's yeah, really weird. It looks actually like if you guys know anything about marvel it the technivore it looks like a giant technivore um and she basically calls it a giant red dick and i'm not making any of this up phallic phallic i'm not making any of this up this is all like word for this is also by the way the first two pages the rest of the comics also garbage but i'm like jesus christ this came out like in august of this year it's done by it was written by seely and uh the artist was like Dulce? Dulce? That means candy in Dolce. Spanish. Dolce Cabana. Long story short, it's awful. It's a cap ripoff. And, well, it's um, also weird because like Steve Trevor, he goes on a secret mission and he doesn't tell Wonder Woman. And I thought, oh, that's kind of cute. Like She could use her lasso of truth on him and ask him like where he's going. But I'm like, why doesn't he just tell her? She's fucking Wonder Woman. Like What, what c- could possibly go over her head that she has an experience right. that that he is doing she's like and he's like i feel guilty for not telling her anything she, she has like some dark comics like zeus tries to force his will upon her but she's also he's also AKA implies her dad dick. yeah <laughs> yeah okay basically that and then his mom her mom comes in and all this stuff there's like so much that happens to her and he's like i can't tell you about the secret mission she's like Honestly, don't give a shit. Go ahead. Go. Pretty much. <laughs> and they, they come back and they have dinner. And she's like, what happened? He's like, nothing, nothing. special. And she's, After he like, and then she just discovered rolls her eyes, an ancient like, race of people. So no, it, it was weird. It was, he saved these children that found like the fountain of youth. Basically. And one of the children left and became old and was caught by some random blonde bitch. And then the kid came back because they rescued her and drank and then she got young again. And... Steve Trevor's like what? Yeah, he was like all guilted by it. He's like, yeah. What have I done? And I'm like, You saved a kid, kill the woman. The kid's like, I'm sorry, I got bored. I won't Basically. leave again. The only thing this comic does well is show all the odd fellows, which is, you know, you have Samir, Charlie, and Chief, which I guess is his name. Long story short, they're okay. They're not particularly interesting. Charlie's an um, excellent marksman in the comics, never fires a bullet in the movie. Charlie's an actor still an actor basically all that's the same although i don't know how they're still alive because if you all the howling commandos found their name by the way all the howling commandos are like dead by captain america too so are these guys going to be still alive oh also steve trevor dies that's weird in the, the movie. end yeah He'll be back. he's like held again in, i think in hades realm or something like I that think chris pine's like this movie might be bad, bad. kill me take me out kill me everyone's me like back. kill me because if she can go to hell in the comics i don't see why she can't bring Just anyone bring back, back yeah if there's god which involved. she does that a lot she'll go to the underworld and make bargains like mm-hmm. Medu- she brings medusa back in the justice league cartoon show which was kind of cool oh uh referencing captain america again mm-hmm. wonder woman is very virtuistic mm-hmm. she's and the movie got that down except she was kind of dumb in a way like naive for yeah, someone who reads a not... hundred languages exactly but in the comics it actually it's really good because her virtues are more situational it's not just her being just childish Patriotic about it or nationalist yeah exactly well. like there's one called vengeance where brainiac is going to destroy the entire universe and they have to team up with dark side to um to save the universe because his planet's also going to get destroyed, obviously. And Darkseid destroyed almost all of Themyscira. And all of the other Amazons are pissed. They're like, we don't want to fucking join Darkseid. And she's like, "Just, I just need you guys to drop it. I know it's hard, but we have to put all our powers together and give them to Darkseid. Someone who destroyed their home, basically. And she's like... Not easy to do. Yeah. And, and she's she, a born leader, which is yeah. cool. Yeah. And it was cool because in the comics, she's like, I can hear everyone because they were all connected telekinetically. She's like, I can hear, I could hear all their thoughts. I can feel like all their hatred and their like vengeance, but I have to just, just tell them and convince them to, to just give up their powers and just do this. Yeah. 
Yeah, I, think I think that's really that cool. Well to her. And what's interesting is she also has that rich backstory, which we're talking about, mm-hmm. which I think a really good comic that goes into that is God War Three Assault in 1999, a comic from the 90s. Not too bad. 90s is always good. 90s good. Uh, it was done by Luke Burchett and McLeod. I think Burchett and McLeod were the artists and Luke was the writer. Uh, long story short... It just basically embraces all those mythologies. Ares is combining to take on Vishnu, Shiva, and the other Indian god. And they have to kind of team up. She falls in love with that Indian god in Rama? a minute. Rama, yeah, in like 10 seconds. This, that's the only thing that's I don't like That's the one thing I don't it. like about Wonder Woman. She'll fall in love with anyone in like but 10 I think, seconds. I think that's just a part of how the Amazons are. They're not around men a lot. They're around like shitty dudes. Like all those gods that want to have sex with them and take control of them. They meet like a semi-nice guy and they're like, you're not a dick. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. So that one comic I was mentioning earlier is, is, is in the George Perez run in the 1980s. Um... Like, Zeus is like, hey, Wonder Woman, you're doing pretty good. And she's like, yeah, thanks. Uh, Can I be a god? I think she's trying to be a god for some reason. And he's like, yeah, sure, sure thing. You can be a god. But But uh, first, to get that job you really want that you totally deserve. I need dead ass. Need dead ass. So he goes for the ass, and she's, like, trying, like, really hard. He's, like, bonding her with powers and stuff. The art's not that provocative or anything. But literally, like, her mom's like, yeah, Hercules did this shit to me, like, hundred years ago. I'm gonna I'm gonna ride out. So she rides out and goes like, please don't take her, take me instead. And Zeus was like straight up like, you'll get your turn. <laughs> and I'm like, that's fucked. And what's the best part is before anything happens to Wonder Woman, because Zeus is more powerful and he's a god, um, he gets sucked right back into Mount Olympus. And his last words are, Damn thee, wife, thou <laughs> shalt pay for this. His wife brings him back, he's like, Yep. Nope, not cheating on me again. <laughs> and he's just like, sorry about my husband. He kind of does that a lot. That happens in that other one um, where she meets the, all those Indian gods, including yeah. when she meets Rama. Yeah, where, God War is soul. Yeah, where the the death god's wife like just tells him what to do. Yeah. She's just this tiny Indian woman. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That was, that was awesome. pretty good. And then Rama's like, no, you don't understand. There is someone more powerful than this god. That's his wife. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so that's always kind of cool. I, I like it when these comics bring, you know, feministic and bring these good, like, political points uh, up on the front. And that's really cool. And Wonder Woman's a great example of a character that does it well sometimes. Uh, this the- was also, just to mention, um, Rebirth 1. Mm-hmm. It's it's a really good issue. It's basically just like five short stories done by five different artists of Wonder Woman just going around and helping people. And you kind of learn who she is and how she interacts with other people. And there's a really cute story at the end where she saves a baby kaiju. That sounds adorable. Like it a little Cthulhu. So, a little it baby is Cthulhu. so cute. Uh, yeah, that one's done by a couple of people. Greg, Rucka, Nicholas Scott, Romola Faburo jr and oh it says many more well that's not nice you should put them on the cover anywho yeah it has like five or six different artists different writers writers. writers. that's very cool so and then she in the first story she meets up with batman and superman they don't know who she is and she's like she's like why are you guys watching me and they're like uh, no reason <laughs> yeah and they're like uh I wonder why touch, touch the lasso please and they're like oh man her heart is super pure we gotta catch the fuck up that's literally what batman says oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then all the stories go from there and just show like how how good she is how her negotiations and just her just as a good superhero mm-hmm. just trying to help people as best she can and knowing the right thing to do uh, I didn't see any about Ares really controlling World War One. I. I know she fights in World War One a couple of comics, but I didn't really see anything yet. No, it was mostly World War Two, right? Yeah, a lot of it was World War Two actually, they... especially with that bombshell comic, which wasn't good. No, it was recommended, and we we weren't really feeling it. Uh... I didn't like the art style either. Yeah, it was alright. Um, a comic I really like that I actually haven't had the chance to fully read yet. It's actually before Wonder Woman. It's a prequel. It's called Odyssey. Odyssey. I messed it up already. Odyssey of the Amazon. It's a 2017 run. It has like six volumes out right now. It's really good. It's about the Amazon women fighting 
before they even get to Themyscira, and they're kind of just fighting all these rich monsters, these this kind of land they're trying to survive, and it's it's their mission to make mankind pure. And it doesn't go well half the time, and you just see these women struggle and fight for what they, their purpose. Their purpose was to bring peace to men's heart. But ultimately, I guess they fail, but it's just kind of cool to see that struggle because they try and fight so hard. And I think it's really cool. Sounds like real life a lot of the time. Women fixing men. You're looking at me. I'm not. I didn't need to fix you. I'm. I'm perfect. You are perfect. No, I'm not. Um, that's about it. What I got for most of the references. Uh, Odyssey of the Amazons done by Grivio and Benjamin. Benjamin. No, that's Ben. That's how you spell it. Uh, the bombshell United comic we're talking about was done by Bennett and Savage. Um, it has to do a lot of cool stuff with like internment, World War II, and it has Clayface, but I didn't really like that one, that so was, I'm not going to brush up really it. Dumb. It's not really relevant. Do you think Wonder Woman is a good representation of feminism? Actual feminism, not like, like hatred of modernist men, which is another feminism. Thing. Yeah. yeah, I think it, I think she is. I think it depends on the writer, of course, and a lot of times it's written by men, but I think they have good intentions in their heart when they write it, so I don't see anything wrong with it. But, you know, I really do prefer when, you know, the women write it. It makes more sense. True, true. I if think she's happens. great. I think she's uh, she's a great voice for feminism in the right way. Is there any other villains you would like to see in a future movie? I thought it'd be cool if we saw I would just love... DK or I her know... sister. Yeah, I mean, I know they want to keep it grounded, but Wonder Woman is not about being grounded. She fights, like, all kinds of gods and cosmic beings, and I want to see more of that if that's possible oh and uh shout out to shit snyder um he was gonna have the amazons be kryptons kryptonians oh Zack snyder yeah that was a plan that he had to make them kryptonians Dude, really glad that didn't work out you like comics what the fuck is wrong with you <laughs> this guy is like wouldn't that mean the that ultimate all... comic fan according to himself and he comes up with stupid mm-hmm. storylines like that come I on think he now. watches like youtube videos like comics explained which is awesome i think he admitted that actually yeah in an I, interview yeah. or something well he said it for like i think this guy mr sunday videos he's like he made all the times where batman killed somebody and he's like yeah batman kills all the time he's like i made that video as a joke not for you to take <laughs> reference from so that was funny um yeah i think it would be cool to see some female supervillains like decay or her sister uh i forget what her name is or, like, uh, DK is the daughter of uh, Medusa. So, I think those are all kind of cool, rich characters I'd like to see in the future. You know what I'm going to call this episode? What? Cocaine's a hell of a drug. Cocaine is a hell of a drug. Super cocaine. <laughs> Super cocaine is a hell of a drug. Um, how do you think this adapted as a film itself? I think it's a pretty good movie. Especially, I think because I had zero expectations, it helped. But, you know, watching it back, it's still enjoyable. Yeah. Like, I would recommend the movie to someone. I'd, I'd be like, it. it's worth one watch at least. Mm-hmm. I think it was overhyped extremely. Oh, sure. oh it's, yeah. Like, They're people like, are... this movie should win Oscars. And I'm like, bruh, slow your roll. Man, Spider-Man 2 didn't even win an Oscar. Slow your roll. Dark this Knight is... didn't win an Oscar. It's a good it's a good movie. It did. It won two Oscars, I think. It won. Oh, Heath it Ledger won an Oscar. Well, that makes sense. And I think it won an Oscar for, like, sound editing or something. Okay, that counts. Long story short, overhyped, but really good. Um, what was I going to say that was kind of interesting? I like the music you just put on. It's very funky. Um, bu- Bob bu- bu- James. Bu- 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 James Brown? Bob James. He's a... Never mind. Okay. I'm not a music guy. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> long story short, we really enjoyed the movie. I think as a film, it's okay. I think it works. It's it's weird that it actually got a lot of the comic stuff in there. I yeah, no I was idea. surprised. And it made me read Wonder Woman, and I actually enjoy Wonder Woman a lot. Yeah. More than I expected. I thought she'd Definitely be really boring. Definitely more than I expected. I thought she was going to be boring. I don't know why. Um, as a film, it does well. There was something else I was going to say. Oh, yeah. This is the, the, the top grossing movie this summer. It beat Spider-Man Homecoming and Guardians of the Galaxy. Number one. And has a 92% in Rotten Tomatoes. Rotten Tomatoes. All right, but Warner Brothers, chill. Just chill. Slow your roll. I know you made one good movie. They're but... already planning spin-off Batman, oh, spin-off absolutely. Joker. They're probably like doing reshoots right multiple... now with like all of Gal Gadot in it. 
Yeah. <laughs> Justice League is like the camera just pans to Gal Gadot every minute. Or they just minute. superimpose her head onto every other character. Every character is Wonder Woman. <laughs> and don't get me wrong, I think that's amazing. I love there's so many cool superhero characters and what i love about wonder woman is she's not an offshoot of a male character like as much as i love a lot of other female superheroes like that girl and what that girl spider girl um all that stuff there is a wonder man but it's completely unrelated and, and it's marvel. marvel so but wonder woman's her okay. own thing she doesn't need a man yeah. to make the movie or you know there's awesome. like she hulk which by the way the all these characters are still great but it's nice to see these characters branch off Mm -hmm. and like jessica jones is really good captain marvel is really cool i just like to see these women out in the movies yeah i want to see them scarlet witch you know i want to see them more so when a movie like this does really well i think it sends a symbol i don't think black widow needs her own movie i think it'd be cool absolutely not i think it'd make a cool netflix series like cool espionage missions but no definitely not a movie she's the side bitch in everything all right let's just leave it at that that's rough I mean, she, is. she tries to hit at least three of those dudes. She hits a hit lot of dudes. But, yeah. Oh, I see what you're saying. Hit and quit. Didn't work with Cap. Did he's, not. He's like, nah. You're dirty, <laughs> Romanoff. Never you're dirty. Mind. And she's like, well, I'll be on your side. And he's still like, nah. nah I, got I know what Black bitch. Widows do. <laughs> nah, I'm not about it. I'm going to go date my girlfriend's niece that's i'm not okay with that that's it weird. happens in the comics it's very it's austin weird. powers but it happens I all mean, in the family you remind me of my former lover who just died well he like what the fuck they never made she doesn't even she's not even dead yet and he's dating her niece no she died well i don't know if that makes it better <laughs> no she's no, totally like, dead no no because no, she <laughs> dies and then like he talks to the niece like right away yeah well they're, they're related so they meet at the funeral it's a good place That's to meet. That's weird. It's a. Li- I think Chris Evans is like, yeah, I'm not crazy about that part, but it happens that's, in the comics. That's not cool. All right. Well, I think that's a wrap up because we're talking about other stuff that we don't need to be talking about, but we will be doing another wrap. episode soon. Maybe. Hopefully Defenders. Hopefully yeah, let's try new Defenders. Daredevil. Something. We've seen everything. We pushed through Iron Fist. That piece of shit show. I'm sorry. You pushed through. I pushed through. You were asleep half of the episodes. That is a push through. <laughs> I could have been doing something else. Uh, okay. All right. We'll see you later. You can contact us on Source of Screen Podcast at Gmail. And also, that's our Twitter, Source of Screen Podcast. It's also, if long. we get shit wrong, tell us. Yeah. Suggest us some comics. There's probably some other cool Wonder Woman comics that it took from. Yeah, yes. and if we get storylines wrong or anything wrong, just we'll do a shout and be like, hey, man, you know your shit. Thanks yeah. for the heads up. We don't know all the comics. I probably only know like eight characters very well. Yeah. The rest pretty well, general knowledge. Anywho, that's it for today. You guys all have a merry, marvelous time at the... Shut up. Okay. Play to players. Play to players. Play to players.